will now install the leather to each of the corners. Where we are now is we have our our leather butterfly patch, which is all this is, is a protective shape guard uh, to uh, uh, make the corner more durable and at the same time to also dress it up. And uh, we have taken an awl and you can see the holes in the leather here and we basically lined up the leather on both sides and we've punched a hole pattern through the leather and through the sail so that we have a path to run our, our threaded needle. Now I've tied a knot at the end of the, of the line and what we're going to do is we are going to go through the leather and use the, the palm to push the needle through and then through the hole on the back side of the leather. And then I sometimes use a pair of pliers to pull needles out. Pull that out. Pull the knot so that it's tight. Now we're going to flip the sail corner. There we go. Use my pliers to pull that out. So we've got one stitch there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go through the next hole on this side. So this is what they call a penetrating straight stitch. And as I push it through, I'm going to look to see where it's coming through on the back side. Position my leather nicely. And then pull the needle out and tighten. Now we've got one stitch there, the other stitch is on the back side at the beginning, and now we are going to continue through to the next hole, and then we'll continue to weave it back and forth until we get to the end. We have gone all the way to the end and we have one last hole to go through, and I am simply going to go through it the same way we have the others. Turn things over so we can find the hole on the back side. Pop our leather through it and push it all the way through. Okay, now there are no further holes over here, but we have an edge here. So, and and we have some empty spots where there's no no uh, stitch hole. We're going to handle the edges later. But now we want to come back to complete the, the stitch. So it looks like a complete stitch all the way through. So we're simply going to reverse directions and head this way now. And we're going to go through the existing holes, making sure that we guide the needle out in the same position so we get a nice straight row of stitches. There we go. You can pull this fairly tight as you go. And then we are going to go down. So we're going to fill in this empty spot down through the next hole. And I'm not coming out. Yeah, I'm coming out pretty well there. It doesn't have to be exactly perfectly straight. It just has to be holding the leather tight to the sail. Pull that tight. And then now we're going to go through the next hole. So we just keep moving to my left until we get to the end. Here we are at the start of the last penetration and here's our starting knot with the little bit of a tail hanging out. I'm actually going to tuck that tail under this last stitch. So I've got my needle passed through and as I pull the needle through I'm just going to make sure that that is tucked under there. Pull that tight. That'll help to lock all that down. Okay, now we are going to proceed with the baseball stitch, and we have to do that on both sides. Now you don't want this too loose because a baseball stitch will actually tighten the leather along the sides. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to remove some of this leather. Because leather will stretch. going to 
flip this over, do the same thing on the back side. That one's actually pretty good. And this side's a little loose, so we're going to cut it a little bit. Whatever you do, you don't want to cut your sail, so do this carefully. So we're all trimmed. We're a little bit short of the edges here, and we've got our remaining thread here. Hopefully we have enough to do a baseball stitch up this edge. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start by coming in through the back side of the leather. And I'm not going to pre-punch any holes in the leather, but you could if you wanted to. It'd make it a little bit easier to, uh, to pull the needle through. But you're only going through leather at this point. We're not going through the sailcloth, so it's usually not, not necessary. And this is the only time I'm going to come through the top surface on this one because I want to pull this, this tight down here. So I'm going to come through the top surface of this piece of leather. It doesn't really matter where. You just want to tighten up the edges so it looks good. I want to make sure that that twine is over the top. Good. And we're just going to pull that tight there. Now, everything else we do we're going to be doing from the inside of the leather. So we're going to move forward a quarter of an inch or so. And I'm going to use my palm to push the needle through. And then I'm going to come through the opposite side, move up another quarter inch or so. push through and then I'm going to come through this side again another quarter of an inch up or so push through and then I'm going to come up this side and basically you're getting the idea here but I want to do a little bit more I may have made my twine a little bit too short here but I think we'll make it just gets a little bit harder to angle the needle in if your twine's too short. And then through this side. Underneath again. And that's going to give you a baseball stitch and you get the idea. So we're just going to continue to suture this all the way up to the ring. Getting the head of that needle through there sometimes is a little bit difficult. And we want to apply good good tension to that whipping as we go in order to keep that edge nice, nice and tight. And then we're going to tie it off very tightly here in the end too. Okay, and that's going to give us essentially what the edge is going to look like and now what we want to do there are a number of ways you can tie it off but um, I prefer to go through and basically this is just a question of what's going to look good and then I come through we're actually creating a knot here so through the loop pull it good and tight and I'm going to do that one more time down just a little bit further I can see where I am there. Good old pliers. 
let's just tie this off. Well, actually, I can just pass this under the past under the past whippings without a problem, and that'll hold it. There we go. Now we will cut this, and I will use a little hot knife on that. Okay, now since I've cut the thread here, since I didn't have enough thread, I'm just gonna hot knife this. Anytime you have to stop, you can just sort of heat your hot knife, start to melt it until you create a little bit of a button and just press it down. And that will lock that so it won't come through. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just don't get your sail. And uh, that's that. Now, if I had left enough thread, which I should have, instead of creating a knot here, because you don't want knots, knots are where the stitch can come loose, uh, you pass it under the leather and out, so it would be coming out like this, out this side, and then do the same baseball stitch just working toward the body of the sail and, and tie it off at the end. And uh, that's all there is to it. All right, we have our completed uh, uh, corner patch assembly now with the leather dressing uh, to make the whole corner extremely durable. And you can see we've got a very nice baseball stitch on this edge as well. Uh, and everything is tied off. Uh, that is a corner that will last and last and it will keep the ring webbing where the webbing attaches to the ring from getting damaged over time by being uh, uh, pulled across uh, uh, the deck of the boat and that's what you want. If the ring is strong and the webbing is in, in, intact, uh, the sail will be strong and the sail will last a long time. Your asymmetrical cruising spinnaker is now complete. Order your cruising spinnaker today. Jeff will get one sent out to you right away. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.